You're watching the Now Indy. I'm Erica Fly. It is estimated that more than 1,800 Hoosiers died from overdosing on drugs last year. That's an 18% increase from 2016. But how can you help someone experiencing an overdose? Working for you, Aaron Lish finds out that answer from doctors at IU Health. It's a strong disease. It takes over and tricks us, you know what I mean? Drug addiction. Paul Shepard knows it well. The last time I OD'd was uh, about five months ago. Paul overdosing on meth and heroin four times since his birthday in December. When I OD'd the last time, I guess while I was out, um, I bit down on my tongue so bad that I pretty much bit through it. If you think someone might be going through an overdose, check for these signs, including dilated pupils, dizziness, and unconsciousness. IU Health doctors share what can happen during an OD. The drug actually tells the brain to slow down breathing, and it relaxes muscles around the neck and throat that normally keep the airway open so that it closes off oxygen. Leading to lasting side effects. And that's either brain damage or death, depending on how little oxygen the brain got during that period. Shepard knows what it's like when waking up after overdosing. Seeing somebody come off of uh, OD with the Narcan and stuff, you shake and it's like instant withdrawals. He's now bouncing back. I just, I just don't want to live like that anymore. And says it's up to you when it comes to getting treatment. So every one of them will tell you that, you know, you just do it when you're ready. You can't do it for somebody else, you got to do it for yourself. If you're ever concerned someone is overdosing, you can call the Poison Control Hotline. And in an emergency, always contact 911. Aaron Lish, RTV6.